One thing that, that kind of goes unnoticed by a lot of inventory users is that in the sketch environment, we can actually create text. So let's come in here. Let's just minimize the size of the browser here, but let's, let's create a sketch on this top face here. And let's look at that sketch. And what I want to do is I want to add some, some geometry to it. So within the, the browser here, or sort of within my ribbon, notice that there's actually a text tool. So I'm going to click text and I'm going to define an area where I want my text to go. So you can see that I get this format text box. Now we can actually tie into text styles. So your text style can actually set the font and the height and, and those type of things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and let's, let's reduce the size here a bit on this text. And I'm just going to add that, you know, place text here and let's just zoom in a bit on that so we can see that a bit better and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bold the text and I'm going to change the font here from Tahoma to Technique so I've changed it a little bit there also notice I can drop in parameters here so if I wanted to say you know extruded height equals I could actually come in here and drop in that parameter as well and that parameter will now will update or modify um, as that parameter changes and this is actually the offset on the work plane right here so I'm going to click OK, and what it's done is gone through and placed that text. Now I can see here that I've actually gone through and, and created that on the back side of the work plane, so I'm not actually getting in the right direction, um, but you can see how I was able to go in there and create that. So let's actually just, uh, let's just flip that. There we go. So let's go in there and let's just change that position. Now you can see that I can take the text and I can drag it. The other thing I can do is actually dimension this text box. Now, if I double click on it, I can see that I've, I've used the text box where I'm going to turn it off in this case because it doesn't really help me at all. Now what I get is I get one point. And that one point will actually be set by the justification. So if I set this to middle justified instead, notice that that, in, that base point, that insertion point is now at that point there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to dimension this from the end. So I want this to be a quarter inch from the end. And I'm going to use my horizontal constraint because I want to constrain this to the midpoint of this edge here if I can find it. So I'm able to constrain and dimensionally locate the text as well. So again, I'm going to double click on this. Let's take this text. Let's change the height here to be a little bit bigger. Let's make this 0.1 instead of 0.5. I'm going to click OK. And let's actually make this a little bit wider so that it actually kind of scrolls around there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attempt to emboss this text. Now this might really fall apart here because of this plane here. So let's just make this a little bit smaller. Let's let's get rid of, of this and let's just say place the minus 0.125. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to emboss that. So I'm going to click finish. I'm going to go and find the emboss tool, which is in here. I'm going to take that text. And what I want to do is I want to emboss it onto the shape here. So I want to add depth to it. I'm going to click OK. And what it's going to do is take that text and wrap it to that particular face. Let's actually change the direction here. Let's click OK. And what we're going to see is it took that text and actually wrapped that text there because I'm doing an emboss. So let's just take this work plane. Let's just do uh, visibility on that just so we can see it. So you can see that I was able to take that text and and emboss it so it took it dropped it on there and boss that so that's kind of one option with the text is we can emboss it we can extrude it we can do different things like that well, on this back face here let's let's create a sketch and let's let's create some geometry here now in this case what i'm going to do is a little bit different than before so i used the text tool before this time what i'm going to do is actually define an arc and i'm going to use this arc to help me create the text because what i'm going to do is instead of the regular text so I'm going to do geometry text. So I'm going to take this arc here, and what I'm going to add here is, you know, isn't this neat? And I'm actually going to um, center it on there, and I'm going to click OK, and we can see that it's created that text. It's a bit big, so I'm just going to double click on it. Let's change the height here um, from 0.1 to 0 0.075. We'll bold it. We'll click OK, and we can see that it's, it's put that on there. Now let's actually go left justified. Let's put a start angle of 10 degrees. I'm going to click OK. And we can see that I'm actually able to change the position of where this starts. So let's go 3 degrees. And I've rotated that around to sit on that arc. 
Now I'm going to take the arc, I'm going to make it a construction line, just to kind of follow good practice here, and I'm going to click finish. And now what I'm going to do is take this text and extrude it. So I'm going to pick the text, I'm going to do a cut here, um, 0.125, we'll click OK, and I can see I was able to take that text and extrude it in there. So for all intents and purposes, text works like regular sketch geometry. You want to be a little bit careful with the type of font that you use, because sometimes the font will introduce pretty complex curves. Um, but other than that, it's just a matter of to find the text and the height and the location of it, and then you can extrude it, you can revolve it, you can sweep it, you can, you can treat it like regular 2D geometry.